Hi YouTubers, it is I, the Hellgear. Welcome to the badassing of Zelda. That's right, the badassing of Zelda. Here's our story. Long ago, Ganon, the Prince of Darkness, stole the Triforce of Power. Princess Zelda of Hyrule broke the Triforce of Wisdom into eight pieces and hid them from Ganon before she was kidnapped by his minions. Link, you must find the pieces and save Zelda. Alright y'all, let's get down to business. Question of the video. If you want to see me do the extra adventure for this very first Legend of Zelda, you let me know in the comment section below. That being said, let's get down into town. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Doo -doo -doo -doo. The greatest meme on the internet. In our in the Legend of Zelda, there are three different swords. This starting sword is the wooden sword, and you will spend the least amount of time with this sword. Ah, the zapper. When you got full red hearts, you can fire that beam. It's just good to have. Alrighty then. So, for this showing of the badassing of Zelda, one, thank you for coming along to play through old school Hyrule, because kids today, they'll never know the struggle. The struggle that many of us old school gamers had. They'll never know this struggle. Those fairies are great. If you're fond of The Legend of Zelda, you know that the fairies can restore your health. They're the biggest health boost in the game. Anyway, there are three swords that you can acquire in this Legend of Zelda. Yes, freeze please. The first being this wooden sword. You will spend the least amount of time with this sword. Oh, we got bombs, sweet. A note on bombs. There are only two instances in the game. And as you can see, when you pick up one bomb, you get four. There are two instances in the game when you should buy bombs. Take any one you want. Instance number two. When all other consumables you have obtained with the exception of keys are maxed out and you have to burn through rupees. And time number one, when you increase the maximum number of bombs you can carry. In the beginning of the game you can only carry a maximum of eight bombs. But as time goes on you will increase that number. Now when you find these old guys, and every now and again, there are so many secrets that you'll come across in The Legend of Zelda. Some by blowing up holes in walls and mountains and whatnot, others by burning down trees. When you see this dude who gives you a choice between a potion and a heart, you always take the heart. Always take the heart. But what if I want the potion? Always take the heart. But hell here. We can buy bombs in the shop for 20 rupees. Yes, you can buy bombs in the store for 20 rupees. At 5 rupees a pop. But as you just saw, enemies will sometimes spawn. 
the very same bombs that you went to go buy in the shop. And you can get the bombs that way for free. But what if I run out of bombs? You'll manage. Into the shop. Buy something, will you? Yeah. That arrow's looking pretty decent right now. You'll manage without buying root or without buying bombs. Get them from enemies. We can't get that heart container right there until a little bit ooh, later in the game. Now I'll talk about the shield. You get two shields in this game. This default shield can block Octa rock rocks. It can block Moblin's arrows and Goria's boomerangs. But the fireballs the Zoras are firing at me, swords and magic spells cannot be blocked with this dinky shield. You need the bigger shield. Now the reason I said that you're going to use this wooden sword for the shortest amount of time, not because it's true, but because you're only going to have this until you get five hearts. And as you can see, I haven't touched a dungeon just yet. And I'm not going to touch a dungeon just yet. This is the badassing of Zelda. This is not regular Zelda. This is not a speed run. This is not your regular gameplay. Now these Gorias, they don't want to be found. So, in exchange for your silence, they give you money. You can get as many, you can get as little as 10 rupees, you can get as many as 100. That guy gave me 30. Too bad that he couldn't get two. Take anyone you want. Boom! And just like that, our time with this wooden sword has come to a close. Once you get five hearts, you're ready for the next sword. This is the mountain maze. There will be more about this later, but essentially it will take us to dungeon number five. Bam, got our zapper again. Alrighty then. Business is about to pick up, boys. Master using it, and you can have this. Look, they say master using it, but that's a joke. You just need the, num the right number of hearts. And in the case of the white sword, you need five hearts. White sword! The white sword is the sword that does twice as much damage as the wooden sword. You will spend the most time in The Legend of Zelda with the white sword. This is your trusty sidearm if you play Mega Man. You will be using the white sword more than any other sword in the game. Because again, you will have it for the longest amount of time. This old woman will come in handy a little bit later. Actually, I kind of messed that up, but we'll get to her in due time. There are essentially about three items that you should buy from the shops. The candle, the arrows, and another shield. But there's also the big item. Those are the three major items you're buying from the stores. 
Actually, there's, those are not the three major items. Those are the three minor items you're buying from the stores. There's three minor items you're buying from the stores, which I just mentioned. And then there's one major item that you're buying from the stores. And I'm going to explain that major item momentarily. A note on blowing up secret doors. They do not always give you someone who wants to give you hearts. Sometimes you might blow up someone's door and they're not going to be happy and you have to pay for it. Don't worry folks, we ain't dying. Not yet anyway. Buy something, will ya? I'll buy this. There are certain secrets in The Legend of Zelda that you can only acquire by blowing up rocks. Others by burning down trees. And this is the main tree that you want to burn down. Right here. Boy, this is really expensive. Ah, uh, you do have to buy that meat, but not quite yet. You will need that meat near the end of the game. But this guy sh sells the big shield for the cheapest. Okay, this part is technical. You're gonna, you'll probably need a couple of times doing this, but one of these trees is a secret, and I'm trying to remember which one it was. And I think it's on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Six away. Is it? God, son of a... Mm. There. I can't get that heart. Let's see if it's this tree. Nope, not that tree. Okay. Go back. Is it this tree? Nope, not that tree either. Mm. One of these trees you can burn. I know my Zelda ain't that rusty. That's the tree. There we go, baby. Six hearts. We can burn this tree. It's a secret to everybody. Uh, I think this is one of the guys that gives me the hundred. So, um, yeah. Okay. You're not one of the guys that gives me a hundred. There are two of those guys that give you a hundred. I'm halfway to the big shield. Once you get the white sword, you're essentially ready to go into dungeon number one. Which is right here. But I'm not going to go into dungeon number one just yet. There's still a little bit more grinding that I have to do. Let me see. Candle. Enemies usually come in two colors. Blue and red. Depending on the enemy, the blue one has more health. The red one may have more health. Was hoping to hit. You guys know about these flying plants. 
I shouldn't have to tell you how irritating these guys are. But you can only hit them when they land. Too slow. I gotta deal with you. Sometimes the di the different colored enemy isn't just strong isn't stronger. Sometimes they'll move faster than the other colored enemy. Ah, uh, that is not the one. In the case of these guys, the red ones move faster. Some of them. Mm. All right. Not this way. I believe it's this way. Good hit. Good hit. Oh, I have no bombs. Show this to the old woman. Our prescription papers. <laughs> Some more bombs. Nice. All right, then. I could have moved one of those guys, but I'm not going to. More bombs. Remember, folks, in the beginning, you can only hold a maximum of eight bombs. Ah, uh, that's dungeon number two. Did I burn something here? Not that one, okay. All right, it's the other side. There we go. This is really expensive. Again, you're buying the big shield for 90. You're not gonna pay 100 bucks for the big shield. Yeah, you're not you're not paying a hundred rupees for the big shield. You can burn one of these trees too. I believe you can burn one of these trees. Freeze! Was it this one you could burn? Ah, uh, probably not. You never buy keys, folks. That's the one thing that you, that of all your consumables, that is the one consumable that you will never buy. There are, there are no instances in the game where you should be buying keys. None. I thought I could burn one of those trees. Alrighty, we can burn that tree. That's the entrance to level 8. I'll take that hit. I am not managing these blows very well. Two 
in one shot. That's the business. I want to buy the big shield. Then we're going to call this an episode. Unfortunately, you can only fire one zapper at a time, folks. Ooh. All right. Freeze! Here we go. I will explain that a little later. We don't need to worry about it right now. There we go. Uh, I guess that was the wrong tree. Let's try that again. See if it's this tree. That's the one. Old woman. Buy medicine before you go. No thank you. Don't need it right now. And that's the only time you're going to need that. Now that we showed her our prescription, every one of those old women is going to sell us that medicine. As you saw, there are two types of medicine. There's the red medicine, which you already know how the medicine works. It gives you your health back. Red medicine you can use once, blue medicine you can use twice. How much do you have? 30. All right then. Let's go get the big shield. And then call this an episode. Alrighty then. You can burn that tree, but that's not the good tree to burn down. Big shield! Now we're set, folks. If you guys have enjoyed yourselves, remember to show your love, hit the like button. And as always, thank you for every like and favorite, comment and share, and subscribe to the channel. Remember, let me know in the comment section below if you want to see me do the second quest in the badassing of Zelda. As there is more on the way. But for now, I take my rupees to chest. Because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.